Skyhawk Sports Network here with head men's basketball coach Bob Petrak, redshirt junior forward Riley Ferris, and true freshman guard Aquel Cott. Uh, coach, just let me get your initial thoughts on your 92-69 victory over Northern New Mexico tonight. Yeah, first I'd just like to say that I, I, we, we think Northern New Mexico is a good ball club. They, they play very hard. They're very well coached. So uh, it's a good victory for us. I, I think people get confused that they hear NAIA and they, they don't think the team may be up to par. That's a good team. Uh, they play hard every time out. So we tip our hats to them uh, for their effort. Uh, they could have easily folded early. Uh, discussing our ball club, um, I told the guys in the locker room we're very talented offensively as the, the three 90-point games in a row would indicate. But we got to do a better job of of finishing games defensively and, and rebounding, and we're a work in progress uh, when it comes to that. So um, proud that we were able to respond. Pretty on a, on a, really, we had a short week uh, because we played on Sunday. Um, there's a lot of positives, but we, we definitely got to get better defensively uh, and then rebounding. Uh, 23 points apiece from the gentleman next to you. Um, you. You dominate the points in the paint category. Score 42 a lot a large part because of these two gentlemen. Just what did you see from Aquel and from Riley tonight? Well, I mean they're all league players, so um, both are both have been very consistent. You know, when 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 you're going from a, being a good player to a great player, and you're trying to become a great player, the consistency is what matters most. And I've been preaching it with Ferris for over a long time because we've had him the five years, where he's shown flashes of being very good early on in his career, but now you're talking consistently. He's been doing it, uh, and that's the next chapter from him when he goes from good to great it, it is how often he, he can do it uh, consistently and how many times in a row uh, can, can he have what he had. Tonight, the rebounds, I thought that was Ferris's best job of rebounding, uh, and, of course, the points will come. And then, of course, with the quell, there's not a lot to say. I mean, he is who he is. It doesn't make a difference what grade he's in. He's just a really good player, um, doesn't get tired, plays hard every second. Exactly what you want. Uh, Riley, finish uh, 23 points, 11 rebounds, your first double-double of the season. I believe you're shooting over 60% here through three games. Just, you know, after missing so much mm -hmm. last year, what, what has helped you uh, find this offensive rhythm early? It's honestly the team. The team gives me so much confidence when I'm out there. I mean, it's just hard to – I just feed off them so much. Their energy, what they bring to the table. Just seeing guys just so happy out there. This team has just come a long way since August, and it's just awesome to see us all out there. I think that's what's really driving me to go so good right now. Right. Uh, Quell, 23 points for you. You've uh, you know shined through your first three games of your freshman season. Uh, what do you think has led to you being able to assimilate so well with this team early on in your career? Uh, getting getting the opportunity to uh, be able to play a lot. I think that's a big thing. P people trusting me to play. So, yes, I think the coaches – I think this, let me say it again, I, I think uh, the biggest thing for me is getting the opportunity to play so then I could be able to do it. So I can't really do it without the coaches and my teammates, so they tell me to be aggressive. So, but. When we accrued a quell, uh, one of the selling points that we, uh, we really tried to uh, present to him is the opportunity to play right away. Uh, did I think he was going to be playing 30 minutes right away? Maybe not that much, but... Uh, you know, here's a young man that has earned everything he's gotten. There's been nothing for free for a quell going back to, you know, when he first started. So uh, are we surprised with his success? No one in our, in our locker room is at all. Um, that's what we've come to expect from him, even though he's just a, just a freshman. Uh, Danny Garrett gives you four, four reba or 14 points, four rebounds, and four assists. I thought he was just all over the floor tonight. What kind of minutes did you get uh, from Danny, who also finished plus 23 tonight? Yeah, no, Danny, you know, we got to find ways when Danny's making as many shots as he is to try to get him more shots. Uh, and that's on me and Coach Steph trying to figure out ways to get him better shots. Uh, but Danny's, you know, we only got the one senior. Uh, and Danny's played like a senior in all three games as far as toughness, he rebounds, he, he's guarding well. You know, he, he's, he's an absolute weapon from the outside. So um, we need his all-around game. And, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, with, with Garrick just think he's just a shooter because it, it, it stands out so much, but he's a good all-around basketball player. Um, as for the game flow itself, you kind of, we were able to build a 20-point cushion there early in the first half. Uh, you know, they were able to whittle it down to 10, but really we were able to maintain a double-digit lead the entire game because of how well you started, just how important was that start to the game? Yeah, we started the game great. 
I, you know, we were disappointed we weren't able to knock them out uh, and, and finish it early. But that's more of a testament to them and how hard they fight and how hard they play. So uh, the game was never in jeopardy. You know, it never got below double digits. But we need to be able to, as the season goes on and we get into our MAC play, be able to finish games uh, early. And it's not offensively. That's de defensively with rebounding. Uh, the 19 turnovers, the turnovers have been one stat that you brought up in all three games so far this year. Is that just a number you think uh, mm -hmm. be able to whittle down as we uh, we move forward heading towards conference season? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I hate I hate the turnovers. So even 10 of them, it's, you know, we're not, I understand that we can't be perfect, but we, we, we're trying to not turn the ball over and uh, really credit Logan Hokinson tonight for playing. You know, he hadn't been able to practice with a wrist injury, and he really was tough tonight for us. Um, and he had a couple turnovers, but it's really only because uh, he wasn't able to use his right hand as well as he can. So we didn't know we were going to have Logan uh, until warm-ups, uh, that way he was going to be able to go. So credit him with his toughness and, and being unselfish enough to play hurt. you got to be unselfish and, and, and tough uh, to play when you're hurt. Right. Riley, tonight was N7 games. You've played in, in three of these now. Um, you know, what, what is M7 night like in this atmosphere inside Wayland? I mean, it's just a great atmosphere to be in. I mean, we feed off everyone's energy that's in the gym. I mean, it's just, just the way it is. They, get, they give us so much hype, so much love. I mean, we feed off that as a program. Coach, we get uh, Embry Riddle tomorrow to close out this Fort Lewis College Classic. Uh, just what you're anticipating with them. They, they gave Adam State a good push earlier today. Yeah, you know, Embry Riddle is a very structured team that's well coached. Uh, the thing that we noticed from the game as a compliment to Embry Riddle was how much those kids care about each other and their program. Uh, I was really impressed. We watched their game earlier, just really impressed with them. And they gave Adams, I mean, they were up 14 with, what, eight to go and then just couldn't finish the game. But um, we're looking forward to playing tomorrow night. We need to get better at playing back-to-backs uh, and playing against structured teams. So uh, look forward to the game and, and want to finish the Classic outright.